Hello and welcome to another episode of C Sharp Corner Videos. My name is Mahesh Chan, I'm founder of C Sharp Corner. In this video, we are going to see how to download and install SQL Server Management Studio. First thing you're going to do is go to Google and type SQL Server Management Studio in Google. First thing you will see is download SQL Server Management Studio here, SSMS. Click on the link. Here you will see download. There's article on there. Currently, SSMS is version 18 RC, as you can see from here. Uh, I'm sure soon it's going to change as soon as new version comes out and you can also see that this latest generation supports SQL Server 2019 preview if you want to install previous versions public releases previous one is right here but uh, by the time you will be reading this in the next couple of months this is going to change anyway so let's uh, install this SSMS 18 release candidate RC1 you can also read uh, more details on this you can also see what's fixed here from the user voice what features are available in this one so let's get it started so I'm going to click on download and you can see download is started it's about 484 MB um, shouldn't take much time uh, depending on your internet speed sometimes it may take uh, you know minutes and even more depends on your internet speed so while it's downloading what I'm going to do is a um, little bit talk about why do we need uh, management studio if you have a SQL Server running and you need a visual UI tool where you can create database, you can create tables, uh, run queries, you want to create a store procs, um, work with tables, import export data, all that thing you can do through this uh, UI tool um, without using command line. If you are a using you know other tools or command lines, then you can still use the way you are using SQL Server. Um, other thing you may want to see is uh, that if you have older versions of SQL Server, you want to make sure that new management studio is compatible with that. So all right, download is complete. Let's open this. I'm going to run this. So I'm running Windows 10. Pro on a uh, HP laptop so you will see this uh, welcome message I'm going to click on install button um, as you can see this new management studio has new cool UI it's pretty flat um, theme is also a little bit different installation theme um, installation usually doesn't take much time um, you can also see the progress here it's installing and updating you what's going on here um, still says SQL Server 2012 native client ODBC driver OLED driver we still use we have OLED DB remember OLED DB uh, I remember 20 years ago OLEDB was one of the major major data tool for data connecting different kind of data sources it's still being used a lot I think um, Microsoft should maybe probably releasing the new SQL Server I don't know if you guys know that but Microsoft just released Visual Studio 2019 um, it's one of the 
most popular IDEs for software developers around the world. If you have not installed, if you write C Sharp and .NET programs or all kind of different programs, you want you may want to look at this new versions while it's installing in the background. Um, you want to go to say home page of C Sharp Corner. You can see Visual Studio 2019 is available now, and you can also see that it has several cool features. Well, let's get back to our installation. I don't want to miss anything in this installation right now. Um, you can also see, as you can see in the background, what I will do is let it install in the side by side. We can do is review a little bit some things here. It's installing SSRS and endless services. Um, there you go. So it didn't take much time, right? So it says restart is required. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to restart now. Um, that's it. You, you install. Once you install, you should be able to see the icon or search. Um, let me restart first. And then we'll come from there. All right, we are back after restarting our machine. I'm going to do is search SQL here and you will see um, a menu item available here for Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio 18. Click on that icon. If you are starting first time, it may also ask you to import your previous settings from previous versions. You can import or either here you will provide your server name obviously here this is my local server so i'll say connect and uh, that's it your cs sql server management studio is up and running um, you can create your databases you can as you can see i imported my previous database here that's it hope you like the video thank you